Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to yet another episode concerning The Spectrum by Retro Games, a modern made reincarnation of the famous ZX Spectrum computer from the 1980s and a couple of related machines like the Spectrum 2B and 3 and whatever else there is. <laughs> which is coming with a lot of games pre-installed here when you boot it into something apparently called a carousel. And while they look interesting, and I'm sure that many people will be very much into them, I prefer to rather try to use the machine for everyday computing tasks. And today's task shall be text editing. But before I get into that, as I was demonstrating how horribly lost I got in a game, I should do it justice, for it does not just leave the user so much to his or her fate, but if you press 7, which is incidentally the up arrow thing, you're getting a brief listing of which keys will be needed for some respective game should you choose to, to play it. So you see these are slightly different by game and you don't need to be as lost as I was last time. But if I now press space for options and go down to advanced options and press M to select, I can actually switch to classic mode. And that I do want to do as I wish to run the basic interpreter, which is just, just here, right? Like I can say, print one, two, three, and it will print one, two, three. Lovely. Now, having that, it occurred to me that we can indeed save text files via the basic command facility. For although the basic keywords themselves are immediately tokenized into some other binary data, what you are writing as comments is remaining as text. So if you want to write a text file, you just need to write your basic lines like usually. And then you're pressing always just very briefly E for REM. And then you're writing what you actually want to write. So for instance, hello, uh, there, comma, <laughs> comma, my dear viewers. Yeah, and so on and so forth. One can write here some text file. All right, let me just maybe do one more line. 30 space rem This is a text file written on a spectrum. Now, I doubt you will write who knows what novel because frankly speaking, writing here is a little bit annoying to be entirely frank. But you see here we have something if we ever wanted to list it, we could, we could just say list and there is our file. If we want to replace lines, insert lines and so on and so forth, the rules follow the common rules of basic where you just retype whatever line you would like to change. Having put in here a trusty bird head, which of course serves as my USB stick. 
it is also possible to save that file. I just, in my previous experiment, when I tried to save something, failed to save it as a string file name. So you need to pick a string as file name and then saving and loading to and from the USB stick will work just fine. So saying save, I can say, I want this to be called spec. Hmm? This is just gonna be the name, spec. How speculative. Now press any key, enter. We wait for it to be saved and I think it was. So, cute. Now if I say new, for instance, just, just like that and restart the interpreter. And if I then say list, then we don't have anything, right? Because we haven't written anything, but we can now load spec and it should just come up again. So this way you could say, ah, okay, the loading doesn't seem to work, but there is a workaround which does work. And that is when you're pressing here this, this home button and then you're going to media select and you're selecting that. Then as I navigate down here, you see there is this, um, or right and down, there is this spec blah blah wr file. If I now press enter then, or M actually to select it and then enter, then it will load spec, even as spec doesn't do anything, but it's just a command list. And if I say list spec, then here we have our text. So you just got demonstrated that saving from the spectrum is possible. Loading from within basic does not seem to be possible, but going into the menu, selecting your file and then running it is possible in order to get your text back again. Now, evidently that is a file of spectrum basic. And when you open it, it is full of binary trash. We shall do so in a second and then we shall see how we can clean it up in order to really continue to work with such a file on our modern desktop machines. Well, to this end, I will now be turning off this machine. So I'll be shutting it down. Advanced options, M. Yeah, shut down device. Now, please, M. Shut down. Very good. So it's off. I'm getting out my stick and I shall be transporting that now to my Windows machine on which I shall show you both for Bash because it has the Windows subsystem for Linux and for PowerShell how you can actually get your files from the bird head. See you in a moment. So here we are on the desktop machine in question. And now let's have just a brief look at our Spectrum tab file. So indeed, you can see there are a couple of nonsensical characters, though our actual text is absolutely there. Now what is noteworthy is that as a carriage return, it is apparently using control M, which is a, a return, not a new line character. So carriage return, not new line and Unix. So it's preferred to have it exactly the, the other way around. The file really does have a pretty unwise name. It's called spec blah blah tap but we can work with that anyway so the command to translate this into something reasonable would be as follows 
First, we are outputting via cat this spec.tap file. Then we are translating any carriage return into a hash character, which you cannot then use otherwise, but not a big deal. How often did you need a hash? <laughs> then we are deleting everything which is complementary to, that is not a printable character. That result we're then channeling back to TR, which is again, changing a hash to a new line. So essentially the carriage return gets translated into a new line and the, that gets channeled into result text. Doing so and then counting out the result, we are getting, yeah, in the beginning, a little bit of trash, but by and large, this is a workable file more or less with minimal <laughs> with minimal adjustments here perhaps for the first column we can totally work with that now in powershell the idea would be substantially similar just there is no tr command here in powershell the situation is a little bit different first we want to save the contents of the spec asterisk tab file into a variable a then we're creating a variable b which is based on a replacing everything which is not a character that we want to have acceptable whereby this backtick is the escape character so this is all the punctuation stuff here that i'm interested in and we're replacing also the carriage return with carriage return line feed, which would be the normal window sending. And then finally, we are outputting this variable into result text. So doing that gives us, or sorry, get content result text is giving us actually pretty much the same result as with bash, they are slightly different, but not by much. And more or less, this is a file with which with minimal editing would allow you further use on Windows and Linux. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, having not even any dedicated program, you are fully in the position to write novellas on your ZX Spectrum. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope to greet you here soon again for further adventures. If not subscribers yet, it would be kind of you to consider joining our friendly club. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time and from me, goodbye.